Let's let the music carry us in, Harry. And well, it's a very, very fast start. Hugo, you want to do sound effects, mate? Oh, no, I don't. We're good. We're good. We're back in. And here it is. Traded left and right. It's actually the opening for Carrigan. Briefly dealt with there by Hampus. Ooh. Chris J inside. And there's a lot of players here at B. But it somehow it's just even trades all across the board into this two on two. Rob's moving up through short. And now B mass back in the market. This is slowed right down. We almost had. A brawly beginning, and the brawl happened, and now we have the uh, the aftermath of the storm, and it's two players on either side trying to navigate this round. Looking for anything they can. Oh, holding this angle. Bmas digged in response. They're both two and three HP, respectively. And so this duel for Rops could decide it all, because now he's left in a clutch. Bmas not able to bail him out anymore, and Rops has got to win this one solo. While he's having this fight, there's still a man inside of the site. Rops looking for anything, and oh, while well, he does find Nork, he can't land the follow-up onto Hampus. And IP, they get the pistol locked in with one man surviving. Yes, indeed. Very nice little B rush there. This is a great map for NIP. And considering how close that first one went, they pulled a bit of a T-side comeback near the end of Nuke with six out of seven rounds in a row, a streak of five. I certainly think this series has got a three-mapper in it. Let's see what Mars Balls can do, right? A map that they haven't touched with this roster yet. So still a lot of questions to be had. Double scouts out in the second. Carrigan and Rob's wielding those weapons. They already flashed out of mid mainly. No one there though. NIP coming in from lower, setting up a smokes for an execute. He massed inside of the site. He'll have to go down with the fort. IP trying to draw attention away from mid so these lurkers can come through and it's worked perfectly. Rob's up on the stairs right now. He's going to consider the back line. It's actually a boost into the window. Rares wrapping. Frozen's gone back to B. He's not convinced by the fact that there's no bomb plant here, but maybe he should be. Rares putting the nail in the coffin for Rob's. B mass. All oh, the flash hits him. They know he's here. The Molly comes under and Nork hits the shot. Just Chris. We've seen him here before, but it's not the Yorp. It's just the D. He gets one and no more. Frozen left alone. NIP. Beautiful work. Surrounding the A site. Coming in from the window as well. Not even taking connector. And Twist should have this one. Oh, great shot for Frozen. He reads it well. But past that point, unretakable. No kit. And the rifles are spread out. Oh dear, it was close, but not close enough for Frozen. NIP locking in a second as they win the conversion. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the four spy and they live to tell the tale. So now it's only these, uh, these, these USPs and a taser on Frozen. What can he do with the Zeus? Let's see, where's he going to take that? Of course, as is often the case, the Taser, other side of the map in comparison to where NIP are going. Oh. So that's pretty much the end of this round. I'm sorry it doesn't get more, much more exciting than this. There's a bomb plant coming in at A for Maus. There's not really much they can do and they know it. They're actually going to get hounded down by Twist. He's only armed with a USP. He's gone full flusher in this third round. Frozen still trying to get some usage out of the Zeus. Now, I don't, oh, I don't know if he's going to get any use out of it. But he's certainly in a place where players could be coming his way. I hope he does, for all of our sake, really. But he doesn't, of course. You never, ever see that Zeus get to fire off, it feels like. And that's just a shame. Hugo, how are you right. doing? Pretty good, man. Just, uh, yeah, taking in the Seaco. 
Pretty uneventful, pretty uninspiring, but I mean, if that round didn't motivate you, I don't know what will, Hugo. Hopefully this round, as now we have guns out for mouse boards, a big buy, Carrigan, he has the AWP. Will he keep it is the question. We saw Chris Orping, CT side, Nuke Rops even picked it up as well. Obviously, we know a lot of these guys can wield that weapon on mouse boards. Nuke always has the closest camera shot. Ah, oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Sometimes we only see his forehead. Right now, it's a double up. Carrigan and Chris rocking the big guns. Double short push here for Maus. And IP are already out into the middle as well. Heavy control with two couple coming from under at the same time. And they have been window boosting in the past. Drops is watching out for that in the ladder room. Chris with a player locked at short. Hampus might try and get flashed out here to escape if he's seen Chris in this position. They, that will send him back. Flash follows, and that gives time for Nork to get up top. Oh dear, Rops has just looked away. He's checking it on a timing, but that smoke could fade to the favor of Nork, who's still not in the window. Finally climbs through. Oh boy, Rops. Oh dear, he gets one, but he gets traded. Nork in the window, giving away his position. He can try and wrap, or he can just put the seed of doubt in the mind of Mouseboards, who now think there's a player flanking them at B. That is not the case, as he's dropped off to regroup with his team for this B play. Hampus coming up cat late. Carrigan could look to stop bit once that connector smoke fades but right now he's still watching a mouse balls don't know oh frozen holding the line he's got chris j helping him out but he does lose his body twist now in the 1v3 peaked by frozen rotations are in at the market but frozen's gonna hold down the line saves the orp as well and he will get away with it carrigan donning his still and so we do get that immediate response in for Mouse Sports. NIP. They've still got cash to invest. So still in a world, but they can't now put another round back up on the board. But that one was pretty damn. Oh, it's less blue. Wow. I wonder if he peeled the sticker off. Like <laughs> we really have to know it this yeah. point. Yeah, come on, Mouse Sports. Let us know. Please. Someone might have punched him. Hey man, you still got the sticker on your camera, man. Arrogant. <laughs> oh dear, he almost dies. Actually, Rob's above the bench who gets a kill on the smoke in con. I like that. Chris very fast through the face of Nork. Carrigan's still here, but not for long. With the advantage, Mouseports give up middle. And IP are very split up right now. One per position. Oh, great shot from Rez. That's the orb gone from the hands of Carrigan. Chris, the only one left up, going to rotate towards A. Frozen hangs around at the back of the B site because NIP are going to take their time in this three on three. See if Mouseball's trying to aggress for information. Twist is still waiting at the top of middle. And these two grouping back in T-spawn with the bomb. Flash goes in. Twist now, homed into CT. If b -Mass does try and go for a peek, he is surely gone. So he's just got to stay tucked in. Chris Jay's trying to hold the cross. They're going to flash to get over. And Hampus actually just takes the fight and wins it out. But they don't account for b -Mass back in CT. He's bought precious time. He gets tagged in through ticket. Frozen's not able to help. b -Mass is just wrestling with the clock and he does get dropped eventually. Frozen now left in the clutch. He's gotten close within this site, but he finds himself trapped between both remaining Swedes. He's dealt with the first. Now just has to try find Rez, who is still tucked behind these triple boxes. Oh. Runs the gauntlet, gets into CT, just drives by Frozen, taps the bomb, trying to bait this peek out from Rez, and Frozen not quite able to win it out. It's three in the round for the man in question. And NIP immediately steal one back to take a fourth. And Molly as well, that's going to hurt. It rebounded back towards the ticket and didn't go deep into CT like Frozen would have liked. That could have bought him time to stick the bomb or even taken the kill as well. And instead, he just loses the fight. Great cross out of sight from Rez. Risky move, but it's a lovely timing. NIP putting up the rounds, putting up the work on the T side of their map pick. Mouseports are broke now. Carrigan, this is a classic 
mouse sports move when Sonny was in this team. He would do it all the time, it felt like. Carrigan waiting, but not going to get much given to him. He hears Hampus back up, and he tries to regress. Now, does he flank A with a one man is heading alone, or does he realize it's a B play? It's a hard call for Carrigan to make, and he might not get to make it with the Hampus doubling back. Oh, boy, Carrigan playing things safe, playing things smart. Needs a double dink, though, and Hampus won't give it to him. Rops is still pushing mid, but in the meantime, B has been lost. Rops kills the Lurk, but everyone else has cleaned out the B site, and Bomb can be planted here for NIP, a near impossible retake round. Rops might give a look in, but on the other hand, he could save that AK and a very valuable weapon to take into the next round. Mass, trying to have a bit of a reign of terror over the apartments, trying to be the most scrutinizing landlord he can. But luckily enough, NIP, they haven't gone that way. And so that deposit not refunded to BMAS in this one. Five on the board for NIP. Very convincing start to their map pick. CT Mirage can always be such a tough spot to be in in a situation like this as well. Like, it feels like it's a very easy map to just get bullied out of the first half, you know? Like, especially if you get off to a start, kind of exactly like the one we've seen right now, you know? You're able to get one round, but then it's like that immediate crushing blow to ruin the economy again. And now, look, you look at it, they've got this investment, but if they lose this round, they don't have one next round, so... Well, they could if players save, but yeah. You know, Rops over on the stairs. Good for one. Now turns his attention back into connector. Hampus is waiting this smoke out. And Rops is quick. He's not budging. Yeah, those smokes will fade soon, though. Rops is going to go above them. Oh, popping in. Twist turns around as they do, and he deals with him. CT spawn has two CTs in, and BMAS is not waiting around. He's coming through the smoke. He could catch a timing with a flash going high, but it's actually twist to be dropped by Frozen. Finally, BMAS crawls through, catches the orb, leaving Reds at the back of the site, but no longer Carrigan finds that shot through the wall. The mouse bots, I was going to say get a retake, but it's not even a retake. They retake the site, but no bomb in sight. NIP did not plant, and mouse bots get it done. Certainly helps with Rops finds a five on three to begin the round, right? Gets the first man out of ramp, deletes Hampus on the mid lurk. And when we see NIP take this A site, they have been good at getting players behind, right? I'm talking window boosts, connector lurks. These are the things that make that A site so tantalizing. The mouse balls deal with it. And that actually has sent the money of NIP into a state of its own. Popsky is going to get owned here. He's trapped in middle. Rops has him. Bomb getting picked back up. NIP actually running back to mid. Rops just missed the timing, falling off of middle. But it's not really a necessity at this point. They got a five on three. They can relax. Chris is holding cat. And so Rops can't get swung in lower. He's now even pivoting after checking the underpass. Chris for the contact. And ooh, uh, he gets it done. Traded, but surely no more. Rops with another. Just the deed of Rez. I say just. This gun is deadly in the right hands. And Rez actually upgrades. No armor though, quick aim punch and a cleanup round for Mouse Sports again. Up to three. Four alive. I like how consistently Mouse Sports are bringing this double orb out. Like every round, every chance they get to, to put it in play, this is the exact side you want it on. Ooh, lovely flash. BMAS pops Rops into middle. Chris is still up on cat with the orb as well. Rops is going to re-smoke connector. Got to be wary of that window boost. No one's watching it right now, but oh, Chris, trading blows. 
with Rez up top mid. Molly comes down, but he can watch window from this position. Those to be aware of it. Oh dear, follow up Molly. He's got a smoke, but it goes too deep. Rob's going to try and assist while their attention is on Chris with that flash. Oh dear, the AWP is tight watching connector. It doesn't spot anything. And Chris comes back in with the scope. Plopsky will hear that. Aspots is trying not to give away a kill here as NIP look desperately for one of their own. They're just going to go through. Carrigan could be in a bit of danger here. He's concealed behind CT right now. But as he swings out, they're already deep, far deeper than he was ever ready for. Rops. Oh, almost a kill there. Rez was ripe for the taking, but he wasn't able to do it. BMAS now trapped at ramp. He's got it into a three on three at least. This bomb on the back of Nork has to go down, but with oh. Twist already so deep in CT, they are just walking to their demise. Chris don't even realize. And Plopsky puts <laughs> down BMAS at the very, very end. NIP, they're looking dominant on Mirage. They're not crispy. missing a beat. So crispy, too crispy. Like. Like burn, like borderline. Yeah, like fried chicken that's been fried a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't think it really exists as a state, but... Either way, the problems begin. Here on the second map, Mouse Sports. Look for the bounce back. Six to three, though, currently. Now they're going to have weapons. Let's see what they can do. Not a great start. A real flying start, though, for Rops as he's planted against the wall. And that's going to be Hampus on that AWP kill. And it really is at this point, it's Nip dictating where the fights are. They're taking the duels that they want, and moreover, they're winning them. Yeah, Nork has so much room. He doesn't know it, but with all this util down, he can jump across the stairs, and he's gone for that play as well. BMAS has crept out through the smokes once again, looking to be a nuisance in this A site. That Molly, oh dear, even if it doesn't spread, oh, Karagan's yeah. barrel has been seen, and Popsky throws in another one. No saving Karagan there. BMAS does get out alive, but only with 20 health. And Frozen drops across, follows up with a second. Maybe it's still winnable in the 2 on 5 after all, but Frozen okay. needs a third, and he's done it all. Bomb dropped, and now a chance. Hampus is going to push all the way around too. He's going to go towards ramp, and this is going to be a big problem. Knocking Hampus left on their own. It's not Hampus Rampus. It's Ham Palace here as he moves his way <laughs> in. Ham Palace, that. Ham Palace. Yeah. Like the Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You've linked it all back around. This guy is a bit of a king of Counter Strike. What they say about Hampus, not me. Either way, 20 seconds left on the clock, and here comes that rotation over there from the ramp. They're going to try to pinch this bomb site. With the bomb planted, it now becomes the back foot. Nip have to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yeah, they've actually got great positions here. Like, even with this long flank that's really good for Frozen, it's going to rely on his utility. He should know at this point where they are. Just got to clear out the necessities. Check. There's no one under. Molly in Palace, time is ticking. Flash for BMAS needs an immediate kill here. It's a good flash, but there's a second player ready to play off the contact. The bomb tap, not stuck. They're still considering the back line frozen, overwhelmed by the double CT setup. And that's NIP converting the two on two. That was two on five. So damn good try for Mouse Sports, but they just weren't ready for the deep CT setup. Great shots from Frozen here, dropping the bomb and really stalling things out, but it's still an NIP round. I mean, that, that right there alone kept the round as competitive as it was. You can't always bank on that either. Frustration station for Mouse Sports, but that train isn't till the third map. That's where NIP are trying to get us. One down in the series already. Rops oh. <laughs> able to get away with that, but there is Twist keeping an eye on the weapon, so that's not retrieved for Maus. Important trade for Twist to get. This kind of frees you up to have a bit more room to maneuver. Frozen boosted. Doesn't get anything from it, and then they have to dismantle it almost as quick as it arrived. This Molotov is going to hold them back from a short peak. NIP, they could go anywhere right now, and that's the big worry. But Maus, they are leaning more towards this B site out of the two. It's a bit of a gamble. It might be the right one. 
Just beam us over here towards the A side, and all of the party is going to be going on catwalk. That's right. We're walking the catwalk, and we're going to be doing it with Nip as they barrel into this B bomb site. Can't find the kills just yet. Frozen lays in hiding, right in plain sight, really. And he has found. That's how you lose. Hide and go seek is done. Venus, 1v4, Deagle in hand, no kit, no armor, no nades. Nowhere really to go, no like plans. Just the formality at this point. Eight up for Nip on the back of this round. Yeah, it's just such a go-to map for NIP, right? It's exactly what we expected. They they beat uh, Big back at Cologne. They went for a long OT loss against OG here. They took Vitality down just the other day here in the Pro League on Mirage. A dominant win as well. In a series they lost, uh, you know, wor worth noting too. So, yeah, this is just a go-to for them in Mouse Sports who don't have a lot of experience as a team, as this team on this map per se. Double orb back, I like it again. Like any opportunity to buy the double orb, mouse boards are convinced. And we know the players uh, with the orbs can do things, but right now they are the bottom performers. Chris and Carrigan, three and five. Need them to come alive. Is this just a standard A execute for NIP? Certainly feels like it as all the smokes rain on in. Now, if they're able to just convincingly sweep this one, that's where you get worried for Mouse's future here on Mirage. This is as standard as they come. The flashes are good. BMAS turns away the second time around, but they just keep pouring in and he has to drop down from the scaffolding. This Molly from Plopsky is going to burn BMAS out forces him into the prying eyes of Hampus. Chris J back in CT. There ever was a time for Chris J to roll back the years and give us a Mirage or play. It's now. There's one for Chris anymore as they're still trickling into this A site. While this has been happening, Frozen has wrapped all the way through middle and is now holding the back line as well. And so this is going to prompt the rest of Mouse to just disengage and offer up this site temporarily to allow Frozen this oh, no. timing. He's going to catch Twist for free back in Palace. Now, they know about the lurk, but knowing about it is one thing. It's, it's responding to it. It's quite the other. Rez is trying to keep an eye on it, but he's also tasked with watching CT. This is a lot of responsibility for just one man to hold on to. Half the time ticked off this bomb. Rez with the swing doesn't find anything. And Nork finished off by Rops. The defuse going to come on in. And Mouse Sports, they are able to recover that round. Yeah. Very methodical retake as well. Mouse no, knew they needed that round and didn't want to throw it away in the two on four. So after Frozen gets that kill, it's a slow down. It's wait for the orbs to post up and start clearing positions. Chris crouches into the angle. And then IP and just get swung by Rops on the stairwell. So it's another round for Mouse Bots. They keep things contested. This is still a great half for NIP. Anything more they find with the money they've amassed could really push them over the line off of an already one half, but why not make it better? Moving away from A, as Mouse Bots have three players here, they've been attacked a lot on this site, and so they've put bodies uh, right at the problem, or so they think. Instead, it's not an A play right now. NIP are taking mid. Twist is coming back late to spawn to check for this ramp progression, and he's actually responded at the perfect time. It's just does he realize BMAS has already taken this angle with Rop supporting as well? Like, this is a heavy setup to deal with. NIP looking like they want A, just judging by Twist's position, but he's about to uncover the terrible truths of this round. The pre fire for BMAS, he sees a shadow, and Twist wants nothing to do with it. He's drawn enough attention. He knows NIP now need to watch close ramp, and that will be calmed over as they run through the smoke. Oh. Well, that's brutal, isn't it? Everyone's kind of ready. They kind of think they know what's coming their way, but NIP, yeah, they're just so swift in those moments. They don't waste any time. They look so confident on Mirage, and that that there is something that Mouse Sports, you know, there's just no accounting for. 
They run through the con smoke. They beat Carrigan. They deal with everyone else just immediately. Like in a matter of seconds, everyone on A is dead. And they've even seen the barrel of Chris J. That's the AWP now dropped, frozen. He just wants to stay alive. He's not even looking to fight. He is literally retreating. And they are hunting him down. No prisoners, Harry. Yeah, no mercy for an IP. Since we're doing it together, not just one by one knock. Actually, he's going to get that information, and now Frozen's left in a very scary situation for himself. Dies after the bomb explodes, I believe, but nonetheless. Look at this. Popsky doubles him up, and then it's easy access over into the A bomb site. Ah, oh, there we go. Thanks, man. Thanks for turning that one back around. Glad you guys. Did hear me when I say running it backwards will work for you. Still, all restrictions and terms do apply. Oh, that flash timing is unfortunate for Chris. Peaks and then gets popped. Okay, Robs. Yeah, he's done this before. He got a kill earlier, but unfortunately for them, again, his mouse board's in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're getting B-Rush. Robs can't even get the kill in middle. Hampus is ready for it this time around. The orc could collapse, and it does, but only killing one twist. Lives to tell the tale. Carrigan's like to trade this kill from Robs, and he does get that AK down in the middle. But at this point, B has been lost, and the plant for NIP has left mouse boards in a retake that isn't really worth going for. Like, BMAS didn't have a lot there, but Carrigan certainly should save this AK, and he knows it. Ten rounds for NIP. They've been great on the anti-ecos, right? When mouse ball stack B, NIP go A. When mouse ball stack A, NIP, they go B. Hey, man, give me my deagle. Get off my deagle. You're standing on it. This round's coming to a close, and so is the half. Nipper going to go up to double digits. Yeah, dude, Hampus has a really nice read on the game. And clearly, NIP have been putting a lot of work in as of late. They've got lots of different approaches. Big control's looking good. Mouseport's barely being able to contest. Every time they do, they, they put this AWP here. And the same thing happens. It gets mollied out, bombarded with flashbangs. Carrigan shot a warning shot, but he does follow up with a kill. Only one. Now Chris on short needs to win that. And Hampus is going to take him back. This guy's not just got the brain. He's got the aim to back it up. Two kills in middle to start this round. It could be NIP oh. hunting for 11. They've seen it. And Nork is going to hit the flick as well. That is unreal. What do you even do here for Mouseports? Well, you can't save, that's for sure. It's round 15. So for Frozen and Robs, they've got to attempt this one. Robs dropping down, does win that fight over Plopski, but barely. 19 points of health. He has got the AWP at least. Carrigan's AWP given over on his deathbed. Now in the hands of Robs. Is this enough? I mean, you're still a man down. Hampus is very, very low, but you've got no utility to flush him out. And the longer Mouse take, the, the harder this round is to win. While Rops is a kit and a smoke, that could come in handy later on. It relies on even getting in and surviving this journey. There is going to be a CT peak. Rops was just holding for it, but the timing <laughs> couldn't get any worse. And there's the double from Twist to end this half. 11 of 4. NIP looking ferocious on Mirage. And it's set to continue here in the second map of this series.
young and misunderstood. My homie, tell me what is changing from your point of view. A smaller circle, but the range is so some deja vu. I recognize my future, and there is nothing with you. Unless you turn your boat around, success might come acute you. But unless you analyze in depth, that we're steps away from death. A thousand possibilities act on a Johnny Depp. For real, cause we're alone sometimes. Trying to know what brought our brothers down in here. I don't wanna be stuck in countless doubts. I just wanna smile and run away from you. I swear to God, man, I just wanna be a model for my brother. Hey, I just gotta work until I'm on the covers. Hey, hey, I just gotta work until my sons are covers. Hey, hey, I just wanna make it proud to be my mother. Wish we could learn how to love our mistakes. Straight from the jump and away for an answer. Wish we could smile when it's rough nowadays. Change our reaction. You just gotta love yourself. You just gotta love yourself. You just gotta love yourself. You just gotta. Girl, I cannot teach anymore. Hope you show some faith in me, I cannot like anyone. Cause I am over being sober with myself, and I'm with you. I am over being something I am not. I'ma turn it to the man now. Man hey, now. finna get my money, ain't no hand. Cool and company have not secured double digits in the first half. Actually, quite the contrary. It's going to be the nip side of things that are looking to take us to three. Welcome back to the SL Pro League Season 12, everybody. We have solved, for the time being, the mystery of the blue camera. Albeit, my my bets are still hedging on that the stickers are on it. I don't know about Heron Hugo, but the odds are they might think the same. We'll have to contact some book uh, bookmakers, figure out the, uh, the deposits, figure out all of that. But right, right now, NIP... Oh, and the lead, not just the lead, but the favor as well, as this is their map pick, and things are only going to get tougher from here on out. Mouse sports have to direct the pace, but it's probably a lot better than just uh, seeing a smokes land and failing to retake. And my favorite MM strat is to throw five decoys a ramp, wait till they explode, and then run out while they're exploding so that the, the noise is, it's all like chaotic. Oh, what's going on? It's just decoys. Ugh. And that's why I played silver three. So. <laughs> I'm kidding. Y'all are pathetic. 11-4, though. That's not pathetic. No. The statement, actually, from Nip. Having lost the first map of Nuke. Yeah, gonna be a B crunch, but there are three players here for NIP. Mouse, they're walking into the stack, and they can't get past Plopski. It makes it look all too easy over towards Short. And this pistol round might be striked away from Maus. It all falls onto Carrigan. No armor behind the P2, and he gets bested as well. 12 on the board for Nip. A very convincing map here from them. We knew Mirage was going to be... I mean, I say we knew. We kind of expected that Mirage was going to be fairly dominant from Nip. It's their, like, go-to map, and it's one that... You know, we haven't seen Maus really play with this new squad. But this is still far more dominant than I anticipated. There's a chance that, like, Mao's only ever even get one rifle round here in this second half. Especially with this four spy, right? Like, putting everything in after no bomb plant. Yeah, I would say it screams confidence, but right now, I've got to wonder where Mao's sports heads are at. They are getting absolutely torn apart. And a Propsky already does more damage in middle. Bails out qu quite early. The nade could finish the job. 
heavy utility into mid. Oh, Pogsky. Very calm approach here from Nip. They realize the importance of losing control of this window room. Chris J with a very respectable pistol set up underneath. He's gonna drop the smoke from immediately down under. This is gonna be an A play all day. Bomb, three, postured at ramp. They wanna go towards A. And in the palace, it's going to be Rops. Doesn't sound nearly as cool as Ham Palace. But here we are. It's on. Tons of damage being transferred from Nip over onto mouse boards. Frozen at Bemis below half. And, well, zero for Plopsky. He gets domed by Bemis' Deagle. Yeah, this is getting a little bit scary, right? With more and more players getting bought down low. And a hero now emerges in the form of Rez doubling up. So NIP, they get that one back under control. The Deeg's only doing a little bit of damage there. Now, no money for Mouse, and this is where that risk of only getting one buy in the half really starts to rear its head, as this should be 14 to four in favor of NIP, and then we'll get that buy round. But if, if Mouse don't win it, they're, they're done. That's a scary situation to be in, but yeah, it's the... Uh... Oh, it's the reality we're in right now, right here. NIP looking to make it quick and clean. Back to the mid nades. Our sports are delayed in taking it, though. Chris is going to flash them out. Oh, dear. Frozen already going down to the B apartments. The rest of them in through middle. No flash needed. They're just going to run the gauntlet. Uh, maybe they would have loved the flashbang because Rez has found three. Popped back in by another. Deagle out for Rez. Twist steals it away, but it's not a worry. It's still a full house for an IP. 14 to 4. No worries at all. If your mouse boards really, if you lose this rifle round, it's all about just brushing it off and getting to the next map. You're not even thinking about Mirage anymore. There's not going to be any leg room left in this. NIP, a force to be reckoned with. A knock on the orb to make matters worse. It's fast up cat. There's three here for NIP. Three B right now. Mouse are walking into a stack, a trap, and they don't even know it. Popsky dropping the first. And now Mouse taking the bomb back through T-Spawn. It's all a ruse. It's all a fake. But they've lost both faking players. Now down to that A play. And already NIP are throwing bodies back at that A site. They know that there's no one else following up on short. Rops has given away his position on A, but he hasn't got the kill to dink. He looks away. And Twist wins that battle out. Swapping to the D to stop the cross. will get shot, but Nork drops the bomb. And this is where it all comes crumbling down. Frozen in a one on four. Just not meant to be. NIP up to 15. And you see, yeah, that, that dink with the AK. You know, I, I, obviously, I don't want to say ricocheted because that's just not reality. But, we'll bind. you know, it, it is kind of one of those, oh, I got him for sure. Nope, nope, nope. Never mind. Look that on to me. Yeah, there's just not a lot to say right now. Like, mouse sports are getting owned, and now they've got to force up against 15. Not a fun situation to be in. No, not one bit. They're going to try and just throw a wall of smokes down into middle like so many. Uh, they, they've flashed into connector, Ooh. and maybe that nets them the opening kill. It will. It's a fast approach in through Con, but already in Palace is a guy going by the name of Rez who looks to steal this whole round away. Lots of damage, and that now makes Hampus even more deadly. Rops, well, trade him out at least, and Rez still here just being a nuisance. Can't overextend in this position. Frozen able to deal with Twist over at short side, and suddenly for NIP, they are down to just two, but there's Nork in the jungle dealing with one. Carrigan giving up his position as well, and they know that Frozen was in the ladder room. So right now, they are aware of this 2v1 they've got in the Whoa. A site, and Carrigan just gets wiped off the face of the earth. Frozen has to find this, <laughs> but Nork just spamming the Come smoke, on. locks Come it on. in. How's that even fair? NIP, an incredible...